Welcome Scorpio. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, Animal Tarot and Divine Directions. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it, shall we? We are going to get one card from the Starseed Oracle and then at the end we're going to have a read through it from the book. Okay, and this card here is Earth School. It says life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Earth School, what have you come here to learn? You know, this person diving down right from the heavens to earth. This is you. This is what you did. Yeah, this is what you chose to do, Scorpio. So this is going to be an interesting one. Looking forward to it. Tell me more about Earth School for Scorpio. Here, please. Earth School for Scorpio. Three cards. Okay, that's way too many. Hang on a minute. Okay, Scorpio, let's try that again, shall we? Three cards for Scorpio in relation to Earth School. Tell me more about this for Scorpio, please. One, family. Oh, here's, okay, sweet. Okay, so we've got family, we've got weight, and we have flow. Okay, so family. Family is everything. Reconnect with them or tell them you love them. Scorpio, interesting. That may be really hard for some of you to do. Maybe some of you don't want to reconnect. I do want to say about that though, Scorpio, if there's a disconnection with a family member because they're abusive in any shape or form, you don't have to reconnect with them. Okay, make sure that you're looking after yourself and keeping those boundaries firm um, so that you are protected and safe. Okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, so these are the last two cards. That one, that one, what have we got here? So, family, look at this, Princess of Spring. I feel like this is you maybe learning about your family, about your family history, potentially, right? Um, wearing this crown upon your head in honour. Um, and maybe where your family has come from, understanding um, what things have been like for them so that you can understand them on a deeper level, which then gives you more of an understanding to yourself because, you know, there's the intergenerational cycles that happen. So that can be very important for you to understand maybe why people are like they are. That's not to make excuses for people. Everyone's responsible for them own, own, their own selves, right? And their own healing and everything that they need to do. But sometimes a little bit of insight can be helpful. Okay, we have the Empress here. And I feel like this is about you nurturing maybe um, your family lineage. Maybe this is about you honouring that, learning about it so that you can honour it and pass it to the next generation, the next generation, and actually let it um, continue on. And maybe it is the case here, Scorpio, that you do that from a different perspective and from a perspective of love and understanding so that a, um, a new energy can be injected into it. Okay, we have the Ten of Winter here. And the Ten of Winter, I love this because this husky here is taking itself for a walk, right? It's not waiting on anyone. It's like, no one's here to walk me. I'll walk myself. All good. I have a feeling that for some of you, you've had to do things on your own. Maybe it's caused you pain. Maybe there's a family member who hasn't given you what you need. Um, and maybe it's time to reconnect with them. And know that maybe you'll never get what you need from them. But the reconnection is what is important. To go and reconnect in a way in a, in a way that is not to blame them. In a way that is purely to understand them. We have the nine of spring here. This is you springing into life. Right? Maybe you've been kind of quiet and in the background for so long. Maybe... This is you going, do you know what? I'm 
it could even be moving away from family for some of you i'm up and out of here <laughs> um we have this one beautiful queen of summer yeah see this is about these emotions being very calm and wearing this crown with calmness wearing this crown with ease and poise gliding through it's like the water is your emotions and you're just gliding along like nothing you're unperturbed right nothing is going to upset your state okay and um there's the sense of contentment there's also a new beginning here and i just wonder if it for you it's a new beginning of the way you deal with things and we've got the nine of summer here which is um all your wishes come true but there are some things that need to be tidied up so that may be to do with family okay now we have wait take time to think on the matter at hand don't be tempted to rush i like that it's kind of like taking a pause before you react before you act right before there's anything that you do just pause and um, maybe sleep on it don't um you don't if, if someone rings you or someone asks you a question or anything like that there's nothing written anywhere that says you have to answer straight away so that could be something that's really important for you to remember okay so tell me more tell me more about weight for scorpio please okay so scorpio what have we got here these first two cards here the six of summer yes yeah, see this is people coming back from your past could very very well be family this could even be getting together with family some of you may have a family reunion coming up okay um it could even be coming into your um season as well this and i think when this video gets published it will probably just have switched over so you know this could be getting together with family for your birthday or whatever right but I want to say here is um, focus on the good things. Focus on the good times, right? Um, dream a look at this. A leap of faith, a new beginning. Yes, that's what I was talking about before, right? There's a new beginning here. And um, for some of you, there could be some family members that don't want to see you fly the coop. They don't want to see you take off. Um there's some people, it might not be family members, it could be friends or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's important to have those around you who are going to support you, okay? Yes, we've got the three of summer because there's a celebration here, there's definitely a celebration happening, um, which is really exciting and I love this energy here for you. Um, you are going to have to learn to cut out the things that don't serve you and that includes the thoughts in your mind okay because the, in order to glide through in a calm manner the thoughts in your mind need to be settled okay and also the off-putting comments the digs and everything that doesn't help you from other people so that you can glide and you can fly because it is your time to fly okay the queen of spring see now the queen of spring she's got her crown here right she knows who she is she sits on that throne in her power she doesn't even need to wear, wear her crown to prove to anyone who she is because she already knows and i feel like scorpio for you this is the power that you need to encompass for yourself okay grow tall like the sunflower be seen okay don't shy away because the world needs you all right we have the next card here which is flow you need more flexibility in your life allow yourself to go with the flow could be easier said than done yes i know but just like this person here who is you coming down from the heavens to the earth flying down like can't wait to get there and then gets there and goes oh, what did I do what did I do go with the flow okay this is this is a place for you to learn and for you to evolve as a soul so go with the flow okay so tell me more about flow for Scorpio please
tell me more about Flo, the Scorpio. I'm trying to get these cards to not feel so jumbled right now, and maybe that's how you're feeling, right? Okay, so Scorpio, my nose is so itchy, sorry. Okay, we've got like so many cards out here. Why have we got so many? All right, we're taking them, we're taking them. Wow, Scorpio. Okay, 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 okay. Alrighty, so we have, first up here, we have justice, okay? This is about getting things into balance for you, okay? And um, I want to say that sometimes there can be the smallest thing that can get things out of kilter, so be aware of that, okay? There's um, certainly um, something that you may just need to tweak in your life in order to... Um, have things go a lot more smoother for you to get that balance and um, it could be even be settling a legal matter so be aware of that okay I just need to go and sort my itchy nose out okay so we have the Prince of Winter here and um, so once this balance comes into play things are going to move ahead really quickly, okay? And I feel like that's where you're going to need to really go with the flow and just embrace the speed of things, okay? Um, yeah, because something's going to take off for you and um, it's exciting. could be a bit scary for you, but it's going to take you to places. You're going places here, Scorpio. Places that you only ever dreamed of, okay? Your wishes here are going to come true. It's just getting these things tidied up that you need to get tidied up. All okay, all the loose ends tied up. Okay, um, watch your ego. Okay, that's going to be a really big thing for you to keep an eye on and keep in check on a regular, on a daily. Okay, if not more than once a day. All right, don't get too tied to the materialistic side of life. Okay. Um, we have the Princess of Autumn, and this is all about you learning something new, okay? Some of you could be going back to school, um, re-educating yourself, okay? The Seven of Autumn here, um, this, this here is all about what is it that you need in order to proceed forward? What is it that you, um, I like, I feel like this is a matter of you becoming curious as to looking into the future to say, okay, what's going to serve me? What can I bring into my life right now that is going to serve me down the track? And bring that in and implement it and get it into place. Okay, quite important for you. Okay, um, we have the two of autumn. There's a decision here that you need to make, which may be making you feel quite jumbled. I want to say it doesn't really matter what you choose, okay, but in making that choice, go within, okay, come out of your head and feel it out um, to see, you know, that doesn't mean to say that you can't write things down and say, okay, for both choices, what would I need to do and um, da -de da right, that's fine to do, but really bring in this intuition, bring in the heart space, bring in your instincts to have them all work together, in order to make the best decision for you. But there will be no wrong decision because whatever decision you make here, Scorpio, you will be learning from because you're in the earth school. You can't not learn these lessons. Okay, so just go with that flow, right? Um, we also have release. Release anything that does not serve you. Okay, I want to also read this card to you. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. Okay, so if you feel like you're losing something because you're needing to move forward and there's a new beginning at play here, every time there's a new beginning, it's because something has ended. 
okay and the ending cannot always be pleasant and we don't always like to lose things or have things change but it's important for us to continue to evolve and grow okay the last card here is a renewal look at this this is you coming out of that dark space and into the light here this is a huge change in your life and i absolutely love it this new beginning is crucial and very necessary for you okay so allow it to happen embrace it and you will be able to move forward in your life a lot easier than what you would if you were to resist it okay so we have earth school where are we here scorpio life lessons soul growth study higher learning planet earth is a great initiation for this sorry initiation yes initiation for the soul and life lessons are the curriculum for which we enroll these aren't one-time lessons but themes we choose to circle around deepening our experience of them as we make our way through the spiral of life life lessons aren't only about getting it right they're also about getting it wrong Remember that Earth is a planet of polarity. Helps, sorry. Remembering that Earth is a planet of po polarity helps with this understanding. Each year, the study deepens more and more. If you pull this card while you are going through a difficult time, you're being prompted to remember that your soul came here to grow and learn. Try not to look at difficult times as getting it wrong. Instead, see them as opportunities for soul growth. If you can find a way to grow and soften your heart through the highs and lows, your soul is most definitely growing, which is the whole point. Pulling this card can also mean that you're being called to embark on a new area of study or growth. This could be through structured learning such as university school or a training course. If you're having difficulties in a relationship you're being reminded that these are opportunities for soul growth. After all relationships are known as the number one way that we grow as souls while here on earth. Okay, so the star seed soul inquiry. This is a question for you to ponder on over the coming weeks. How are you being called to grow or learn? Ask your soul this, right? Because your soul has the answer. And just quieten yourself down and let that come through. Ask to be shown. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.